On November 9, 2020, Burger King urged its clients to support the industry by ordering from McDonald's and other big rivals. While a controversial idea, it gained support and admiration worldwide. Acting counterintuitive to greedy business and survival instincts, that is something, Burger King. But wait, haven't we seen this before? Yep, we have. Six months prior to that, we launched the Long Live Everyone, a social campaign urging to buy from as many producers as possible. Sounds expensive? No, we did not ask to buy more, just to distribute the daily purchases among more producers. For instance, not to buy all dairy from producer A. Instead, buy milk from A, butter from B, and yogurt from C. In this way, all businesses would have an equal chance to weather the COVID storm. Why was it necessary? To save jobs, to keep companies alive, as it's the fundament of any economy, and to nurture diversity among market players. Diversity means choice, and choice means, well, everything. We got 72 companies in nine categories on board. They stood proudly side by side, encouraging to buy from their competitors, so that all may live. Each of them acted as media themselves, using their sales brochures, retail radio, video and social media to spread the message. We invited media partners to amplify the buzz. They proactively added value to the whole movement. For instance, we asked Delphi to host three live discussions. They added in content articles, banner spots, and nine digital screens across Riga. What did brands get? Media coverage. During times when marketing budgets were the first to suffer, sense of community and support, and a chance to display brand maturity. What did society get? Rediscovering competition as the root for quality and diversity, and a push to try new stuff. Hashtag long live everyone was an empowering journey, a promise that beneath the stress of surviving a pandemic, there is still a chance for solidarity and humanity. So long live everyone.